Um, obviously a great team win tonight. I thought we came out with a lot of um, focus uh, right away. We, we got in that box, had some great plate discipline, got on the board really early. I thought G threw a heck of a game. Um, so just, you know, we, we played our game, and I think that's the biggest thing. And um, when we play our game, uh, good things happen. So just very proud. Again, I, I keep saying that, but at this point in the season, it's, it's, their, it's their game to take. So um, they did a great job tonight. Morgan, you talked about during the course of the season, uh, a few times talked about the fact that uh, you came here mm -hmm. for the opportunity to play in the big games in the Pac-12 and now in the postseason. Uh, tell me how you're finding the experience now that you're, now that you're living that out. It's awesome. Uh, You go into every game with butterflies and it's like a weird feeling, but like you never get that feeling ever again. Like this is definitely something that you're only gonna experience one time and only experience here. Like, I don't know, it's just, it's, it's awesome. It's great to be a part of something like this, so. Gene, same, same sort of question. Um, well, I mean, the reason I came here is because Coach Ford does everything right. Um, everything is so structured here at ASU. And we're very disciplined, like even in our warm-ups. I'm not sure if you've caught our warm-ups yet, but it's a one, two, three stretch, and we do everything as a line. So just the discipline and the family orientation here is what brought me to ASU. You guys have done a really good job of putting runs up early last week, tonight. Um, can you just talk about the approach that's been helping you to do that? And then maybe for G, what the comfort level that you have when you're getting the lead? Um, I would say in the box, oh, sorry. I would say in the box, all of us are just, at this point in the season, it's not too many mechanical things uh, with our swings. It's little mistakes, but um, we're just all focusing on getting a good pitch and hitting a strike and swinging hard. So that's what I would say about our offense. Um, for me, uh, it gives me a lot of comfort, um, breathing room, and it allows me to just throw my game, um, like focus on me and like knowing they're going to back me up with their offensive support. Um, I mean, coach tells us score early, score often. So I think that when we score first, I think it's a good thing. I don't know. It just gives us momentum and it, I don't know, gets G fired up. So <laughs> it's awesome. Coach, I'm sure you've touched on this already, but this was a dazzling display because you won this game. You showed every facet of this game, the ability to play small ball, the ability to play long ball, and of course, great defense, the ability to dominate the circle. This was like a true team effort in every shape and form. Yeah, I mean, I just think we executed our, our game plan. This, this team is special, and they have the ability to beat teams a multitude of ways. And I think you, they showed it again tonight. I think they did a great job against Ole Miss on uh, the last day, Sunday. Yeah, it's all mixing together, sorry. Um, and. And then tonight again, I mean, uh, we laid down bunts when we needed to. We took extra bases when we needed to. And they'll, they'll all tell you that when we started this year, those are one of our cornerstones is we've got to be able to execute the small game. And then we also have to be able to beat a team base running. I think base running will win or lose you ball games. And um, it's just been something that I think Coach Wynn's done a tremendous job with. Uh, she spends a lot of hours, uh, hears me complaining a lot about things. Um, and she's just been tremendous. And I think um, when we're on the base path, people feel our pressure. Coach Joe Tarr has been our ace all year, and they have Kelsey O who came in at the end. Were you surprised that they started Dixie Rayleigh? Um, surprise, yes, but not really. I mean, I think at this point in the season, we're prepared for, you know, whatever gets thrown at us. So, um, we know we're going to probably see her at some point in time. Um, I thought, oh, did a pretty good job. Obviously, I think we can make some more adjustments off of her. Um, so I think the biggest thing is it's less about who is in that circle when we're in the box. It's more about what we're doing. And I think our girls did a really good job of executing when they needed to execute. Just to clarify, you knew you were going to face Rayleigh at some time or Drotar? Uh, I think we're going to face Drotar sometime. That would be my hunch. But at the end of the day, it's still about us. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, I think G, you know, the reason why she, you know, um, pitched so well is because her defense backed her up. I mean, she's been phenomenal in that circle, very dominant. And when they do um, put the ball in play, they're ready to go. And I think um, right now they're feeding off of each other. Like, Mo can't wait to make a big play for G, and G can't wait to make a big play for Mo. Jade's the same way. Um, Everybody. And once you start, when they start to figure that piece out, that's when something special happens. And I would tell you that at the beginning of the year, there we weren't all right there. And I think now they're playing for each other. And um, as as a coach, that's what you um, they're you know that's what you want. They're setting the standard of what Sun Devil softball will be today, tomorrow, and moving forward. Coach, you had uh, talked earlier in the season. Well, I mean, obviously, you had a lot of new pieces to blend uh, mm-hmm. you know, over the course of the season. We're now at that postseason point, pretty much a, a full season under your under their belts. How are they coming together in your in your mind? And if you could talk about each of these three's contributions to what this team is. Yeah, um, gosh. I don't know if you guys can see how special Jade is. I mean, she makes big time plays in big time situations. I want her in the box in every pressure situation. That kid lives for that. Um, she's got confidence, she's got swag, um, but she also puts in the work. And I think, um, you know, joking aside, she's, she's, very, um, she's very humble. I mean, she works her tail off and she'll joke with me like, I know I feel good coach, but I, I know what her insides are like. That kid wants to compete. Um, that's why her and I fit so well together because at the end of the day, she hates to lose more than she loves to win. And I would say that's in our DNA. Um, I would say all three of these um, players up here are, are the same way. I mean, Mo obviously played for me um, prior to I got here, so we knew what we were getting in Mo. Um, we knew how special she was. We knew what a competitor, what a pure hitter she is. I mean, you look at her at bats tonight, and uh, she didn't have her legs in a couple of them, but she's got great hands, and she, I mean, just powered that ball through the infield. And um, to me, I recruit insides, and G is somebody who I recruited for a long time. And you talk about insides, she's got great insides. And I think, you know, these three, in their own different ways, are the backbone of ASU softball. And I think they've done a tremendous job throughout the year. We've had Stankiewicz, um, you know, another kid that's just done tremendous, you know, uh, stepping up. And we've had both Hackbar sisters really do great. And I think, um, you know, when you get Gibby, who's a freshman, she doesn't know any better. She's just following the, this lead, you know. Mm-hmm. And so I think, um, you know, the reason why Gibby's done so well is, A, because of her talent and work ethic, but also because these ones are bringing her out hitting extra. These ones are telling her, hey, this is how you handle these situations. This is how you act. This is the standard. And, um, you know, I, I can't say enough about what these three mean to our program. Um, I mean, we have to, like, we're going to tell you, stay in our bubble, but um, not feeding into the hype. Like, yeah, one win away, but it's still one whole win away. You have to take it pitch by pitch, out by out, inning by inning. So um, just really, like, keeping it focused in that sort of frame and not getting ahead of ourselves and stuff like that. I mean, this is the postseason. We're in super regionals at this point. Everybody's good. Everyone's here for a reason. So that's just something that we're harping on, and just we're just going to take it pitch by pitch tomorrow. Oh, do I got to answer too. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, I mean, we just got to remember to that it's going to be a dogfight. Um, at the end of the day, it's it's going to fall either way. But we have to remember we have to fight to the last out, um, fight each pitch, and um, for every out. Um, so I mean, that's what we kind of got to focus on, and just remember to be gritty and grind it out. That's who we are. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, good it is. Oh, good to get out.